On the left side of the big book is the March on Washington, which the I Have a Dream speech was made there, which is why we titled our mural The Unfinished Dream, because it is unfinished still. My name is Kim Anno, and I'm an artist and a filmmaker, photographer, bookmaker, and a professor at the California College of the Arts. I'm Miranda Bergman. I'm an artist and a muralist and an educator. On the left side of the big book is the March on Washington, but on the right side was the student strike. They went on hunger strike and chained themselves to the administration building. They had three demands. One was a tenured ethnic studies um, position and an enlargement of the whole ethnic studies. A cross-cultural center for students of color from different nationalities to meet and greet and interact and learn. And the third was a mural <laughs> that showed that Europe was not the center of the world culturally. We think that this hunger strike and the development of a multicultural center was really looking at embracing the broad cultures that had been present at UC Davis, but not supported. The competition was open to the community, not just students, and Kim and I entered. Then we were chosen, and then there was talk about what should be in it, conversation. Some actually BIPOC students from the art department helped us paint this mural. And that was really exciting to work with them. They were very enthusiastic. They came back multiple times. Um, it was a, definitely a group process back and forth. We really think that people have made a difference over the years in various fields. And so we wanted to elevate those people and celebrate those people. And then we also had feedback from the students about what they thought it was important for them to mm -hmm. see in a mural. And we were open to that and editing what we did so that they felt included. So the whole idea of belonging and inclusion was really part of the process. Public art is super important to society in general because it spurs conversation and education. It also encapsulates sometimes feelings of conflict and catharsis, as well as aspirations. That's true for university campus as well. I think particularly on a university campus, it gives students something to wonder about, think about, research. It spurs research. Public art or murals are in spaces where there's absolutely no cost. It's not locked behind a museum door. It's just out there in the reflecting and the ones that really work are the ones that reflect well where they actually are, place. Sometimes too, we also need to see images um, from what the mural is saying, images that encapsulate a broad range of people and places and how, how UC Davis came to have a much more multicultural, broad campus, respectful of diversity and intact integrity and to think about structural racism in general. I think in, in thinking about how to update the mural or change the mural in kind of a speculative way, we would think about the issues of the day more broadly and deeper. Um, not that we didn't before, but things change in 30 years. And we've been often thinking about gender fluidity, for example, and we might need to have that reflected in the mural. We might need to have a whole community of people that have not been established in the mural be there. The whole Black Lives Matter, which is a worldwide global movement now, didn't exist in that form. In 1991, there was the issues around white supremacy and racism and exclusion, but there wasn't a boiling over of masses of people that were 
triggered by something that's been happening for hundreds of years, but those little cameras and that 17-year-old girl, that uh, young woman who videoed George Floyd, that would have to be included in a mural now. We were creating something that was a container for a lot of dialogue and both resolution of conflict after coming out of the, the hunger strike at UC Davis. We were trying to figure out how to have a bridge to create a new world. And that's what we felt we wanted to do with the mural, in my opinion. We hope that all of us doing our little bits can help evolve a consciousness. Consciousness does become a material force when it's big enough. All forms of artistic or creation is, is, is so part of the mix that will help elevate consciousness and create change and activism. I think that there are many artists now that are taking on social issues head on and they're taking them on in all kinds of mediums. I, th I feel like optimism is, is really important to me right now that um, we can make a difference, that artists mm -hmm. can make a difference, that society can change and that we can go forward and that um, our young people have something to look up to. And how do we, be, how do we create the, the bridges that can be walked on and can be joined on and that's part of our intent as artists.